As I've reviewed more two-layer designs and as I've gotten more questions about two-layer PCB design, I've noticed that many new designers will try to always confine their PCB layouts to two layers. This is a problem when you have a lot of signals because if you're using ground pour to try and provide ground, eventually a lot of your signals won't have any ground at all. That means if those traces are carrying any fast digital signals, those signals will radiate strongly into free space. And once again, you have a radiated emissions problem. Take a look at this example on screen. Here we have a PCB layout with pretty dense signal routing on two layers. In this layout, the designer attempted to apply ground to all of the signals on both layers using coplanar ground pour. That's fine for some of the signals near the edge of some of these routes, but in the center you can see that many of these traces don't have any nearby ground. If these traces are just carrying DC, it's fine because those signals don't have any switching action. But if any of these traces are carrying a fast digital signal, like part of an SPI bus, fast GPIOs, or a PWM signal, they can radiate strongly into free space.